Hello everyone, this is Mr. Farmer. Have you ever heard of a device that can replace a body part that isn't working properly? Over the past few decades, medical technology has made incredible impact in developing devices that can replace or support failing organs in the human body. That's exactly what artificial organs do. They are made by scientists and doctors who create the special devices to replace or help organs that are sick or injured. For example, there are artificial heart, bionic pancreases and even artificial corneas for people who can't see. In this video, we'll be exploring 10 most innovative and groundbreaking artificial organs on the market, how they work and the impact they are having on patients and healthcare providers alike. So whether you are a medical profession, a patient or simply curious about the latest advances in medical technology, then watch this video fully on artificial organs. Welcome guys, this is Pharma Portal, the pharma you need to know, share and grow. In number 10 is artificial limbs. The oldest known artificial organ in history is an artificial toe made from wood and leather. Artificial limbs also known as prosthesis are devices designed to replace lost or damaged body parts. Prosthesis can be used to replace a wide range of body parts including hands, arms, feet and leg. Modern prosthesis are made from variety of materials including plastic, metal and carbon fiber which have higher strength than our regular hands and legs. Advances in prosthetic technology have led into the development of devices that can perform complex movements and even provide sensory feedback to the user. In number 9 is urinary bladder. An artificial bladder is a medical device that is designed to replace or supplement the function of damaged or diseased bladder. An example of an artificial bladder is neobladder which is designed to mimic the shape and function of a natural bladder. The neobladder is a type of urinary diversion surgery that involves in creating a new bladder from a section of the patient's bowel or small intestine. Because the neobladder is made from the patient's own tissue, there is a reduced risk of complications such as rejection or infection. In our list, artificial skin is at number 8. Artificial skin refers to any synthetic material or device that is designed to mimic the structure and function of human skin that are made from a variety of materials including synthetic polymers, animal-derived collagen and human-derived tissues. This is especially treated for skin injuries such as burns and wounds. One example of an approved artificial skin product is Apligraph which is made of living cells and biodegradable scaffold. The living cells in Apligraph release growth factors and and other molecules that promote the growth of new tissue and blood vessels. Apligraph is considered as a class 3 medical devices by the US FDA, meaning it is subject to rigorous safety and efficacy standards. Next on our list is artificial pancreas. The Medtronic Minimed 670G system serves as an artificial pancreas that was approved by the FDA in 2016. This device is an automated insulin delivery system that consists of an insulin pump and a continuous glucose monitor. It is designed to help people with type 1 diabetes manage their blood sugar level more effectively. This system is not suitable for people with type 2 diabetes or those who require less than 8 units of insulin per day. Artificial liver is 6 on our list. The extracorporeal liver assist device called ELAD was granted humanitarian use designation by the FDA in 2013. This device is used to provide temporary liver support to patients with acute liver failure. ELAD uses human liver cells that are cultured in a bioreactor and then immobilized on a cartridge. The cartridge is then placed in extracorporeal circuit that is connected to the patient's blood circulation allowing the device to remove toxin and waste products from the blood and replace some of the liver's essential functions. In number 5 is the artificial kidney. The FDA granted breakthrough device designation to the wearable artificial kidney called VAC in 2019. The VAC is a portable hemodialysis machine that can be worn like a belt that is designed to replace the function of damaged or diseased kidney. This device uses a combination of filtration and dialysis to remove the waste products and excess fluids from the blood like a healthy kidney. This device is powered by batteries and is designed to be used continuously allowing the patients to receive kidney replacement therapy while going through their daily activities. The wearable artificial kidney is still in experimental stage and has not yet been approved for widespread clinical use. 
In number four is the artificial ear, a cochlear implant which is a surgically implanted device that is designed to provide a sense of sound to individuals who are deaf or severely hard of hearing. The device consists of two main components, external sound processor and internal implant that is placed inside the ear. The external sound processor captures the sound waves and converts them into digital signals that are sent to the internal implant. The implant then stimulates an auditory nerve which sends the signals to the brain that are interpreted as a sound. The device is indicated for use in both children and adults who have severe profound of hearing loss. In number 3 is the artificial eye. The Argus 2 retinal prosthesis system is a retinal implant that was approved by the FDA in 2013. This device is used to restore some vision to people with retinous pigmentosa, a degenerative eye disease that can cause blindness. The implant consists of array of electrodes that are implanted into the retina which can stimulate the remaining healthy cells to produce visual sensation. The next one is the AlphaCar artificial cornea which is a synthetic implant that which is used to replace a damaged or diseased cornea. The device is implanted into the eye through a surgical procedure and it is designed to be long lasting and durable. In number 2 is artificial lung. The FDA granted approval to Hemo Lung Respiratory Assist System in 2019. The Hemo Lung Respiratory Assist System, which is called RAS, is a minimally invasive extracorporeal carbon dioxide removal device developed by A Lung Technologies. The Hemo Lung RAS is designed to provide respiratory support to patients with acute respiratory distress syndromes or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. The device works by removing carbon dioxide from patients' blood using a gas exchange membrane allowing the patient's lung to rest and heal. The hemolung RAS is inserted into the patient's jugular vein which allows it to be used for longer periods of time without causing any damage to the patient's blood vessels. The device is approximately around 20,000 US dollars and as per today's exchange rate it is around 15 lakh Indian rupees. The number one artificial organ in our list is artificial heart. The Syncardia Temporary Total Artificial Heart System is a device that replaces patients own heart and is designed for use as a bridge to transplant patients with end stage heart failure. This artificial heart was approved in FDA in 2004. The device is implanted in patient's chest and connected to external power sources and control systems which regulate the heart's pumping action. The device has been used in more than 1700 patients worldwide with some patients living for several years with this artificial heart while waiting for a heart transplant. The temporary total artificial heart system can range from 125,000 to 175,000 US dollars which is around 1 crore 30 lakhs in Indian rupees. Hope you like this video. Encourage us by hitting the like button. If you have any questions, post it in the comments and share this video to your friends and family. Most importantly, subscribe and press the bell icon for regular notifications from our Pharma Portal channel. Bye!